So one of the first things that we want to um, configure is the firewall. So basically the uh, firewall is kind of like a software that allows you to open or close ports that uh, face the world. And um, normally different services uh, use different uh, port numbers. And imagine ports like being kind of like streets or avenues to your server that have a number, specific number, and then different services use always the same um, the same avenue to get into your server. So the first one that it's already kind of like enabled is um, is SSH, which is uh, usually port 22. Um, so, but the way that we kind of like uh, interact with this with this firewall is through an Ubuntu utility called e, uh, UFW. So the first thing we want to do is initially this 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 service is like disabled. Um, it's it's kind of like not not set set to be on. So, um, but before we turn it on, we want to allow um, specifically two services that we're gonna use. Uh, the first thing is we're gonna have a allow SSH because if we turn this firewall on and SSH is not turned on, then we're not gonna be able to log into the server. So we do that. Um, it's gonna ask you for the password if you're your session is not done and then it says rules updated um, so that's cool uh, the second rule that we want to add is um, uh, www which is basically uh, it'll allow people to surf the web um, connect to your server using a, a browser or from you know using HTTP um, slash whatever server name you have so we want to also um, open that port, which is um, www. We'll have a typo here. It's U Ubuntu Firewall. Perfect. So now I have those two enabled. And um, if you're going to use um, uh, a HTTPS, then there's another one called um, um, HTTPS. Um, is is basically port 443, so you can enable that. Uh, manually <clears throat> but we're going to use only those um, for now and we can see what services we have added so far by using show added and it'll, it says that we're going to you're going to add this following two services and once that is that is correct we do uh, ufw enable okay <clears throat> so it's going to say that it might disrupt the SSH connections it doesn't do that but um now it's active and enabled so now we have a firewall uh set up um and any any person trying to get into the server using other stuff that is not http or uh, ssh is going to be denied access to to the server one last thing we want to do on the um basic or or foundational libraries is that we need uh, always the server to be kind of like updated in terms of time across the kind of the world. It's very important that we get like up to the to the second um, synchronization with with uh, with time. Um, so it's very easy to do that. Um, we can uh, just install something called NTP synchronization, which basically um, has uh, makes the server. Um, get updates about the the time um, from from a um, a cluster of servers around the world that that, that keep time accur uh, accurately. So <clears throat> the way to do that is the following: you first we need to do an an update because we want to like um, update all the libraries um, that the server has, and it can it, it can take a while because sometimes there's a lot of uh, kind of like um, older versions of the uh, libraries that are that come with the with the server but this was pretty good so after that then we just do the following app get install ntp and by the way this is this app get is the um, kind of like the package manager for ubuntu uh, it's similar to like yum um, on the on the red hat and centos uh, world and basically like windows update or you know um like mac os 
apps uh, updating. So apt-get is how you install and, and remove uh, packages. So apt-get install NTP, it's gonna get that. Um, it's gonna confirm if we want to do this. We press yes. And um, once that's done, that's pretty much it. Your server is gonna always be uh, synchronized. Okay, so that's the last of the kind of like uh, foundational things we need to install. Now let's go on and install um, our web server and database servers for um, to get um, our blog running here in uh, DigitalOcean.